right now I'm talking to Trevor Ward, who just got done with his pitch in the Pitch Fest class. How'd it go, Trevor? Uh, it went really well. I'm actually showing a film here this weekend. Uh, I'm a director. I do documentary films. And um, so I was pitching another documentary film that I actually just started, um, looking for you know additional resources and some production help and stuff like that. And uh, it went really well. And uh, what were some of the ideas uh, within your pitch? Uh, you mean my, my pitch specifically? Um, well, my pitch, uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. What's the exactly you asked? So, uh, so uh, when you went in to pitch your idea, uh, what were some of the ideas in your story, or, or what were you looking to, uh, to sell when you went in there? Uh, well, the story, you know, it's a little different when you're pitching a documentary because you're trying to pitch a real story that's already happened and just my telling of it. Um, the story is about a guy who is an extreme sport athlete, one of the best in his particular sport. And so, uh, you know, the main thing is you want to get somebody hooked in right away. And when it's a very small niche sport, you kind of have to get people to relate to that. So uh, the one thing that I used that they gave me some positive feedback on was I said, everybody knows Tony Hawk, and Tony Hawk is the legend in the world of skateboarding. And that's, that's all right. <laughs> uh, but Tony Hawk's a legend in the world of skateboarding. My guy, Eric Lugger, is the legend in the sport of wakeboarding. And um, so by being able to make that connection, people are able to then forget about the fact that it's a, just a small niche and then go move on to the story. And, uh, you know, there's things about drug use, drug abuse, crimes. You know, at one point he, um, I don't want to, I don't know what I can say exactly, but at one point uh, there were some pretty heavy crimes involved and he was facing 35 years in prison. And so, you know, it's kind of the story of how he overcame all that and, you know, where he is now and like all the stuff that happened to build up to that moment. It's, it's quite a spectacular story, you know, something you'd see on um, VH1, you know, behind the music kind of thing. Do you have any other ideas for documentaries that you're developing right now? Uh, I do. I have, I have a, uh, an idea for this guy who's a, um, a street performer. He's a hip-hop artist and he's been doing it for 20 years and he's been all over the world doing it. And, uh, you know, in his life, he still thinks he's going to be famous. And, you know, he's 45 years old, hip-hop rapping, you know, freestyle rapping, uh, you know, at restaurants and stuff like that. And so it's kind of an interesting story about, you know, what is the American dream? Is it actually succeeding or is it doing the thing that truly gives you passion? And uh, so I haven't, uh, you know, that, that may not be for a year or two before that kind of kicks up, but... Very good. Are there any other events or films you're looking forward to this year at the Sunscreen Film Festival? Uh, I'm looking forward to my film. You know, this, this is the first one as a world premiere for me, so uh, I'm just pretty excited to have a bunch of strangers come see my film and kind of get some feedback, see how, you know, how it was received. And what time does that play, uh, take place again? That's at 8 o'clock tonight. Very good. Well, we'll be looking forward to it. Thank you so much for your time, right. sir. Hope Thank you have you. a good time here All at the right. festival.